Okay, there we go. That should be... Mm. There we go. And that. Got that. Bring that out. I see little settings. <laughs> okay, everyone. We're here to play some Little Nightmares 2. So we already played Little Nightmares 1 and its DLCs. So now, of course, it's time to play the second one. This one doesn't have any DLCs. That's fine. And there is a third game coming out, so that should be fun. Uh... Having a few technical issues. I'll be back in a second, guys. There we go. I think I fixed it. Okay, so now we're on to this one. With this third one coming out, I don't know how well this is going to connect to the first one. But to be fair, when it came to the first game, its story is still like the hardest thing to figure out. I mean, a lot of it is like up to interpretation. But let's see what we might be able to get from this one. Basic griefing, seriously. Well, I guess I probably should have guessed it is Bandai Namco. My nose itches. Ew. Oh, excuse me. There we go. You're all good. Please don't switch off power if you see this. That means it just auto saves, okay? Okay. Always look at things first. It feels good. Let's go into it. I love the little melody it has during like the opening there. <clears throat> I can't tell if there's something at the end of that. Seriously? Oh, it's one of the eyeball doors. Though this might end up actually connecting to the first game. Okay, I'm gonna unplug that real quick. There we go, sorry about that. Okay, uh... Baghead? Okay. That's okay, it's one of the little block things. And the, this world still seems to be obsessed with eyeballs. <laughs> At least now we're not wake up in the facility from the first game. We're in the forest. Okay, X, sprint, A, jump. Okay, it seems like some of the mechanics are still the same from the first one. That'll make this at least a little bit easier. I can't tell what that is. Is that a dead animal? <clears throat> but yeah, the first game's story was still like one of the most confusing things I was trying to figure out. Because, well, it, it, the game doesn't have any dialogue or notes or anything like that. You had to like just figure out the story from actions and settings and whatnot. It wasn't easiest. That's a shoe. That's... Uh, that's that's a trap. That's death. Jeez. It, it kind of reminds me of a... Which one was it? It's one of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. I think it was Dead Man's Chest. Or... I don't think it was Captain Jack himself, but his, like, crewmates got, like, trapped in one of those giant, like, snare traps. It's actually quite beautiful for graphics here. Considering that the first game was mostly set within that little underwater facility whose name I can't remember. Yep. Yeah, that's obviously a trap. Come on. Tripwire, come on. Not gonna fall for a tripwire like that. Okay, first puzzle. 
There we go. It's always going to start off with the simple stuff. But yeah, because since it was set within the underwater facility, like, the entire game, so we never really got to see, like, the outside world at all. <laughs> Compared to right now, where we're in an actual, like, forest. Because that's one of the most biggest things about the first game I was curious about was the world itself. These, like, creatures and monsters. That's a log! Okay, of course. Indiana Jones, we are not. Well, okay then. Let's try that again. I think we need to crouch over here. Nope, okay, we just need to run. Now I know, now I know. <laughs> Yeah, like, the world itself was something I was always curious about. Like, the Andrew character with his, like, half face mask. All these big guys, what they really are under their flash mask. Stuff like that. The world itself was something I was always curious about, because we only ever got to see inside of the facility. I think it was called the Maw. Yeah, I think it was the Maw. I am curious how much of this game is going to connect with that one. Same with the third game when it comes out. Okay, how much back can I go to? Okay. First, we need to lower that so we can cross. Can I? Okay, I see. We used a noose over here to swing across. Yep. There we go. Simple and easy. It always starts off with simple and easy puzzles and tasks. Before it becomes noticeably difficult, okay? Uh... Come on, come on. That did not work. Close. But no. <laughs> I think we just need to climb up it by jumping down here first. Yeah, just jumping across like I tried to do. To be fair, in these kinds of video games, never trust rope bridges. Never trust them. They always break. Every video game, they break. Every one of them. Hello. Okay, I see the snare trap there. Come on. Nice try. Uh, okay, I need to drop the log. Do I need to activate the trap? Oh, wait. The shoe's back here. We can use the shoes. We never really saw any wildlife in the first game. I and mean, we saw those leeches, but that's about it. Besides that, it was the monster characters, like the janitor, the chefs, the guest, and the owner lady herself. Okay, seriously, am I that bad? I, I tried to put the shoe in there, but I just could not get like the right angle there. Okay, let's try this again. I definitely need to throw from a lot farther away. I need to go all the way back here to throw this. Because that character here has quite the arm. There we go. Yup. And yup. Okay. Give me a second. I want to look up what our character's name is. Because, like I said, these games don't have any dialogue or notes or anything, so you never know their actual names until. You either find out yourself or someone tells you. Mono? Okay. Well, let's do this, Mono. That's obviously a bear trap. Those are multiple bear trap. I mean, one of them closed. Okay, so our character's name is Mono. Nice to meet you. Okay, can I take the stick? Give me stick. I got stick. 
Uh. Uh. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, okay, I see that right there. I see the bear trap. Do I need to drop stick or throw it? Or just slam it right into the trap? Hey, if it works, it works. And it worked. Ow. Stick is my best friend. Something feels off. That's what's off. Oh my god, I see another bear trap right there. Okay, we... Okay. Yeah, I'm noticing the issues now. God, there's so many of them. Okay, don't throw this one. Just let it drop. Okay, I see the bear trap that's right, like, here. Come on. Oh, we need to be real careful here. Grab another one. And there's one right above this. We need to just, like, jump in. Ooh, okay, yep. Jeez. Do we have that big of a bear problem? <laughs> have that many bear traps. Also, what's with the weird just string of light here? Oh, we got a cabin. Never trust cabins in the woods, and not just because there's literally a horror movie named that, but because, well, there's many horror movies where bad things happen in a cabin in the woods. Evil Dead, Friday 13th, like... Just don't go to cabins in the middle of the woods. Just don't. It never goes well. Oh, that's... okay. So these, they must have gotten the chefs from the mall back over here. <laughs> the twin chefs. It kind of reminds me of uh, Brazil 7 a bit. Just like the kitchen area. Okay, I hear piano. I think that's piano. Okay, that leads to looks like a basement. Basements are also a very big no-go, for obvious reasons. Is that a moose head? Are we in Canada? <laughs> Why is that the first thing that came to my mind was Canada? <laughs> uh, okay. Crip collected hats in the pause menu. We got hats. Oh, wow. Okay, but I think I'm going to stick with the bag. Because I think the bag gives a bit more personality, you know? And is it just me or those hats over there kind of remind you of the hat that the janitor guy wore? Can I reach this? No. This is obviously a front door because that's where the shoe rack is. We're saying the basement for last, because basement areas are... Okay, I guess we are heading towards basement, because we can't reach that. Can we open these, though? No. Okay, I guess we're heading towards basement. Whose house is this anyway? I'll just stumble on a random house. Well, someone likes to... Do some sewing. I see a sewing machine and it looks like lots of, I think, that like wool or yarn or something in the bags. I'm not sure. Wait, does this house belong to the janitor? Because in the mall, in the first game, janitor had like a little workshop area where he wrapped up the bodies of kids to send to the chefs to cook. Oh, please, I'm gonna actually keep a weapon. Too much to ask, huh? over here. An axe. Come on. Give me the weapons. 
Wait, you serious? Can I? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Can I actually use this as a weapon? They're literally giving me weapons. Finally! Because I do wish Six could have, like, used weapons back in the first game. There were so many times in, like, the kitchen area where I would just, like, grab a knife. Where I wanted to grab a knife just to, like, try and, like, at least cut their ankles or something. But no, we couldn't do that. But now we got a straight up wood cutting axe here. Anybody want to come at me? I'll chop ya! There we go, Mono. Um, hi? Oh, oh, you're playing the music with a little... Bingamabobber. I don't know what it's called. I think it's just called a music box. Oh. Here's Johnny! <laughs> I'm here to kill... Did we drop the axe? Come on. I would have kept axe. Trust no one in any horror game. Hello. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, we just kind of broke into your room using a literal wood cutting axe. So, yeah, I guess it'd be, it's fair enough that you tried running away. That's fair. Can I jump on hooks? I can. Oh, yeah, I'm 100% doing this. Oh, okay, that was terrible. Okay, can I grab the axe again? Yes, sir. I'm keeping this axe. Okay, I saw, I saw you go up there. Yeah, we're taking the axe with us. Oh, great. I don't think we can, can we? God dang it. Fine. Drop the axe. Dang it. We just got the weapon. Better give us something good. Like a hatchet. Wait, how did you open the door? Okay, I did not know what I was expecting. This is not what I was expecting. I know I referenced Resident Evil 7 earlier, but this is definitely Resident Evil 7 vibes. But kind of worse, because in Resident Evil 7, the family members were alive. I don't even... I... Were they... Were they... Who owns this house? Norman Bates? It looks like they just taxidermied the a family. I mean, that kid has, like, eye out. Uh... Do you want some help? Whoa, whoa. Here we go, teamwork. If it works, it works. Because we can't go out through that door, we need a key. So I'm guessing the key is going to be up here. Oh, mannequin parts, seriously? Place couldn't get any creep. You had to add mannequin parts. Seriously. Uh. Oh. Uh. Can you look me up again? Can you lift me up again, please? Oh, I'm dragging you around. Well, I need your help with this. No? Okay, uh... Oh, we can push this, can't we? Or do we both have to do it? We both have to do it, okay. 
This game is multiplayer co-op. I don't have any friends who own this game. Okay, so there's the key, but also hanging bodies. Someone here really does love taxidermy, huh? Okay, we can't lift through that. Wait, we're about to... Wait, go back over here. Were you about to help me up, or you were? Um, please don't tell me you're awake. Or... Are you even alive? Because I see stuffing out of your left arm. Okay, I think you're another taxidermied dead body, aren't you? Yep, you're a taxidermied dead body. Yeah, I'll say again. Are we in the house of Norman Bates? Straight up taxidermy here. Come on. Wait. I see a hole up there. Can I reach that? No. It looks like I won't be able to do it unless I get some help. We've got a crank, so we can use this. I got the crank. Ow. Want me to pull it? Or, okay, you got it. Oh, okay. I need to grab on so I can grab onto hook and then swing it off. Oh. There we go. Okay. Do we just put it in our pocket? Well, let's go. Let's head back. I was close. I <laughs> almost just straight up jumped off. I would have died. Okay, we got the key. I'm glad I don't have to, like, actually, like, hang around on the key. We just have to put it in our pocket. Oh. Are we going to have a Shrek reference? Please tell me we have a Shrek reference or something. It is an outhouse. Oh, let's do this. Please tell me it's a Shrek reference. Somebody. Um, I don't know what I'm looking at. Is that just a shadow? Uh, okay. Okay, man, I was expecting some sort of like Shrek reference, but that was something. Okay, we need to... We need to push this. Yeah, go. Animal skins. Oh, someone's here. Who are you? Oh, you're the one who's taxiderming the animals and probably the people too. I also see the double barrel right there. Oh, is he a hunter? That Oh, he might be a hunter. A lot of hunters actually do know how to skin animals. As for taxidermy parts, some taxidermies, dermists are uh, hunters. Oh, he knows we're here. We need to go. And he's got the double barrel. Yep, he's a hunter. Okay, yep. 
Wait, how? Okay. What kind of spread shotgun do you have? There we go. He's literally a hunter. He's all, he kind of, he, he definitely has, he's, you know what his look kind of reminds me? He kind of reminds me of the chainsaw guys from Resident Evil 4, mostly because the bag over his face with the eye hole. But he's definitely got that like cliche hunter look. Outfit, the up barrel. But he's definitely the one who's also like taxidermy, taxiderming people. Come on, let's go. Oh, we need to make no movement here. We need to make a run for it. Okay, let's wait till his lantern's at the very other side. Then, yep, we just need to make a run for it. Oh, I was wondering if you made it. Is he seriously still trying to shoot at us? Of course he is. Or is he gone? We don't hear him anymore. You good? Yeah, you're good. Come on. Of course, in our broken rope bridge. What was that? Okay, um, let's hope I can jump. Nope. <laughs> well, at least now we know the answer to that. Okay. Oh, wait, do I need to do something with this? Oh. I get you to jump across. Sir Jason. Oh, Sir Jason, thank you for the follow. Oh. Okay, now how are you going to help me get across? I'd call. Hello, Sir Jason. Welcome to the stream. I don't think your arm's long enough to... You know what? We'll try. Yep. Oh, I thought I missed it there. <laughs> I, do, do, hmm. I am doing good. Thank you for the help there, friend. Okay, so I got a climbing thing. Do we need to drop one of these? Or, okay, whoa, 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 Hunter's Light. Or just, you know, you go ahead and I'll hide behind a box. 